me now in the studio, we have Joe F. Howard and Doug Collins. We're going to be talking about an art show, of course, in Scottsdale that opens today and runs through what date, Doug? Uh, November 10th. Joe E. Howard is a um, artist and sculptor, and Doug Collins is with DM Productions. Uh, you are facilitating this in a sense. You are promoting this, and you are involved in the promotion of the artist, correct? Uh, yes, we are, Tanya, and thanks for having us today. It's great to be here. Now, this show will highlight the most prestigious award in the art world. Am I correct? Absolutely. It's called the Goddess of Art Award. Uh, as you can see, this is about 24 inches high. It weighs 12 pounds. It is a. It was uh, designed and sculpted by a living master artist, Vala Ola, who now lives in Cave Creek, but she's originally from Iceland. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Joe, uh, a little bit about your background. You have been uh, a sculptor how long? Uh, my sculpting is, um, I'd say maybe about 12 years I've been sculpting but I paint as well. Okay. I've been painting all my life. So two mediums. Do you, do, you, do you find that interesting to go from one to the other? Oh yeah, yeah, without do, a doubt. Do, do each kind of enhance the other? Yes they do, yes they do, because I, I work with a, a wider range of mediums, you know, like a pastels, watercolor. I had uh, exhibited my watercolors in Paris, France some years ago and uh, they all help you know, one, with one with the other. Right, and you, you know, I was going to say that unusual, but but it's not. I think many artists do that. Some artists mm -hmm. do, of course, stick with their own discipline, their own uh, medium, whether it be art, sculpture, oils, or, or watercolors. Mm -hmm. But many artists do cross borders, and they yes. do cross over. Do you think it enhances each of what you do? I think so. Uh, when I was in high school, which was a few days ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, yesterday, yeah, Jim. Our teacher told me those back then, he says, um, you know, learn to work with more than one medium. It makes it more valuable. Ah, oh, So um, that's something I never forgot. And, 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 and it, did, it did. Like I, like I asked uh, Karen, have you been doing this all your life or as a youngster? It's been all my life. When I was a kid, I used to draw on the refrigerator, <laughs> um, table, whatever I could draw on, you know. And so I've, I've been doing this thing for a and long again, time. And again, like Karen, self-taught or self -taught. school? Self-taught. I, I was self-taught in as far as the fine arts. Um, I was a com in the commercial world. I was a advertising designer a long time ago as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave that up because, you know, I wanted to do that. There was something inside of me I want to do for myself. Yeah. So um, yeah, I got I away from the rat race. And I, I, I've heard that story from this. other people who have done commercial art. Uh, it it is a means to an end many times, but mm -hmm. it's not what Absolutely. you really want to do. Before we get to Joe's art, the picture hanging behind us, Doug, let's speak to that. Uh, yes, the, the piece back here is by um, master artist and living master, Ed Copley. He's the founder of the organization, American Society of Traditional Artists. That's the big show and sale that opens tonight in Scottsdale. He is the great, great, great grandson of John Singleton Copley. You said that three times, didn't you? Uh, okay. Absolutely. They were born to the day on the 4th of July, 204 years apart. Wow. And Ed is like his grandfather reincarnated. Uh, his, uh, well, John Singleton Copley, there are books written about him, Copley Square in Boston. Right. And uh, he's one of, well, he was Colonial America's top portrait artist and now today we have artwork by Ed Copley like this. Uh, Ed actually has four pieces that are in the show and he has donated three pieces that will be in the auction on Saturday night that will help veterans with post-traumatic stress syndrome. It must be in the genes. Oh, absolutely. I dispute that sometimes when we talk about certain uh, traits, talents, and abilities, but I, I guess it is somewhat in the genes, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And and Ed and Joe have been friends for many, many years. Joe's joining us from the Ohio area, but we're really excited because we have we have artists coming from Florence, Italy. We have artists coming from the Ukraine, from Australia, from France, from the Netherlands, from Germany. I mean, uh, Canada, all over the world are coming to Scottsdale for this show. Um, opening today, opening gala today. on Saturday, and running through. Running through November 10, there's $2 million in never before seen artwork. Wow. And the pricing, there's something for everyone. It runs from 
Under $1,000, the least expensive piece is only $800 for an original piece by a master artist to up over $75,000. So there's something for everyone. Exactly, exactly. We're going to see images of your work, Joe. Uh, and uh, I understand that uh, by working in both mediums, as you have said, mm -hmm. uh, it brings talent to each one in a different way. We're looking right now at a beautiful, I love this. Yes, and uh, the artist here, his name is Don Clapper, and what he does doesn't know is that this is winning the Goddess of Art Award. Okay. Oh, this one is? This piece is now, winning Now, if he's best watching the show. show, he knows it. If he's watching the show, he knows it. He will find out tonight because he has won the Goddess of Art Award. And this belongs to who? And this is Ed Copley's piece. It's called uh, Mail Order Brides. Nice. Very nice. I like that. You can see the same feel. It's, he has a certain feel. And Once this? again, another living master. Uh, this is Kirk Richards and his piece. And it's going to take an award tonight as well. Beautiful artwork. Oh, yeah. Exquisite, really. Another oh, another award cute. win. This is called Cinderella's Dreams. Oh, like so just a uh, beautiful piece of art. And what you're seeing now, uh, there's a designation called Living Masters. It's done by the Art Renewal Center in New York. And what they have done is they've selected certain artists, like the artist you've just seen, and they consider them to be today's Rembrandts or Da Vinci's. This one is by Joe Howard. Yeah, I knew that one belonged to him. <laughs> yes, I love that. That looks like when that when Diane sent that, and I always opened it, I thought, I can just walk down that creek. I can just walk through there. Okay. It draws you. It, it, was that your aim? Was, no. was that your yes. desire yes, in no doing doubt. this? For uh, someone to say that I can walk right through that painting? That's a real compliment to me because the thing is I want you to be able to feel as though you're there. And that that's you gorgeous. saying what you said is that exactly what I want. just beautiful. Thank you. And again, uh, where should they be, Doug? Uh, the address is 7077 East Main. That's just east of Scottsdale Road on Main Street, right in the heart of the Scottsdale Art District. Walk the red carpet tonight. There's all sorts of media there. Uh, the cameras, there'll be lights, camera action tonight. You'll be on the red carpet. You will be able to meet and mingle with these wonderful artists. Extraordinary event. Did you bring your tux out of mothballs, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> no tux. I'm a country boy at oh, heart. Boy, I may, I'll not, tell you, may man, not look like it. Man but after my own heart I'm there, Joe. Let me boy. tell you. And the uh, <laughs> website and phone number is on the screen, so if you want more information, please give it a look-see. Joe, thank it's a pleasure to me. meet uh, you. Thank you, Thank you so much. When we come back, closing thoughts.